That seems to be changing. Overnight, warplanes pounded neighbourhoods from the southeast to the northwest. Flares marked out targets for long-range artillery fire. Meanwhile, infantry units and tanks moved in from the south and the east. Hamas militants responded with anti-tank missiles and mortar bombs. In the middle of the, all of this is a civilian population who inevitably are going to get caught up in the crossfire and have nowhere to flee. All right, well, thank you very much for now. Annette Young reporting from Jerusalem. Medics have reported several deaths and dozens wounded. Well, the New York-based pressure group Human Rights Watch has accused the Israeli military of using white phosphorus munitions. They're extremely flammable and are said to have caused much more undue suffering to the civilian population. Israel's army, though, denies they're using it, all that they're breaking international humanitarian law. Well, here's Mark Galasco of Human Rights Watch. I can't get into Gaza, but I've been on the border now for the last few days watching as the Israeli artillery are firing white phosphorus over into uh, the refugee camps. It's quite clear uh, as the um, artillery shells explode in midair and the white phosphorus tendrils go down and light fires on the ground. And also as you walk by the artillery units, you can see them handling and putting fuses on white phosphorus charges. So it's very clear to us that that's what they're using, even though they're denying it. Well, the artillery shells that they're using are American manufacturer. They have 100... 16 uh, white phosphorus pieces inside of them. They explode in midair and cover an area approximately 250 meters in diameter uh, with these 116 uh, flaming uh, leaf flaming pieces will come down anything they touch will go on fire it'll cause second to third degree burns on human skin it will uh, go through glass it will light uh, uh, wood any structure that goes there that is in the area so it's quite dangerous to the civilian population and we're calling on Israel to cease using this in 